All right, without any further ado, I'm gonna start my clock here. I'll pull up my phone so you can see what time I'm starting. Hopefully there's no glare. Just wake it up here, pull it up so we can see the screen here and get to the time. And 5.56, we're gonna call it six o'clock, Thursday, May 25th. I'm gonna start tonight on the river. I'm going to finish up tomorrow on the local quarry. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything together here and drag it in and get started. Number one, boys. All right, day two, the carnage continues. Um, started at six last night uh, on the river, got a couple fish, I'm two in. Eight o'clock this morning, I'm on a quarry. Um, so I have 10 hours left on my clock. I'm gonna get things rolling and see what I can make happen. So I'm on the water now, already it's raining. Not supposed to rain today. Here we are. So it's it's just a light sprinkle. I don't think it's gonna amount to much and hopefully it, uh, it won't be all day, so. Rain or shine, and we're here to catch some fish. Ooh. He's coming off. He's coming off. White bass. That's number four. <clears throat> I just had a crappie. It was pandemonium for a minute because I was trying to save my uh, video clip, lock my video clip when I got bit with that. So hopefully the crappie did get saved and I got all those fish on film. Well, it finally stopped raining and the sun came out, which is good. Uh, there was no rain in the forecast today. 
no chance of pre precipitation. And uh, so it rained the first two hours I was here. I wasn't dressed for it. I was starting to get pretty chilly actually. And, uh, but the sun's come out, so it's warmed up, so that's good. Um, I've been drifting an underwater point here for a bit with some minnows. Um, I got a yellow bass earlier that I didn't have the camera on. So I was hoping to catch another yellow bass uh, over here. And then uh, I got a crappie earlier, which I'm pretty sure is on camera. But uh, I thought maybe if I could just pull in a few more fish here, um, drifting this point just as a safety factor, um, even though they were ones I already got. But not much is happening, so I'm going to change up my game plan. I'm going to go after a few different fish here. Uh, I'm going to see if I can catch a bluegill, and then I'm going to use that bluegill and see if I can catch a gar. So uh, I'm going to make a move, and that's going to be my plan here. So we'll see how that goes. Time to pull out the right tool for the job, the bait getter. This is a far cry from what I normally fish with right here. The idea is here to catch a bluegill that's so small that I can use it for bait for a gar. So I'm going teeny tiny. And it'll still be a point. Something over here by the shore awful ruckus. I heard it over here. I heard it like moving along the shoreline. So I'm going to take a break from what I'm doing here and I'm going to see if I can. It almost looks like it's trying to push fish up against the something we got a live one we got a live one and yellow bass there we go redemption for catching one earlier and not having my not having the recorder running And that's what we're after, right there. Bluegill, that's another point, and that's bait. All right, so I'm rigged up here to try and uh, catch a gar with the little bluegill I got. So all I did, I just totally improvised this whole thing. A steel leader, put on a slip bobber on it, I just hooked the steel leader onto my regular snap. So my slip bobber slides up to there, I got this much down on the bottom, and I got a circle hook. <sighs> I just threw off my bait. in business.
Well, thought I had the camera rolling. Didn't have the camera rolling. Did, however. Managed to catch a gar. Exactly what I was aiming to do. With that little bluegill I got. Gar. Making sure my light's on. Largemouth bass. That's number five, six, I don't know. We'll count them later. Largemouth bass. This here's my Justin Johnson impression. I don't usually get a fish like this, like he does all the time, but man, I've caught just about everything I can out of this lake today. There's not much left. Not much to do here, but sit and relax. I like it, Justin. I see why you do it. Okay, folks, it's about five o'clock now. I still got an hour left on the clock. I got off the water half hour, 40 minutes ago. I'm hot. I'm hungry. I'm getting angry. <laughs> um, I still have to get home and pack stuff up and get ready for a weekend river float that I'm starting tomorrow morning. So I think, uh, I think I'm going to call it today, call it good. So thanks for watching. And for you other guys in the challenge, I may not have the ocean to fish in. I may not have blue cats where I live. But by God, I'm going to make you all work for a win.